Nice. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the gentleman from Indiana for yielding the time. With the ongoing migrant crisis in New York State, my district has sadly been on the front lines of Democrat policies that reward those that have broken our laws to come into this country illegally. With thousands of illegal immigrants now residing in hotels, shelters, and public facilities across my state, my constituents and other New Yorkers have seen what happens when their hard-earned tax dollars are spent on programs that enable a completely avoidable crisis. It's as if Governor Hochul and Mayor Adams put up a neon sign saying, come on in, New York's open for business. Illegal immigrants know that if they cross the border and ask to be sent to be New York, they'll be fed, clothed, housed, and even given a debit card. We're looking at half a million illegals in New York alone and nearly 10 million who have crossed our southern border to be released into the interior of the United States. Now, my colleagues on the other side of the aisle want these non-citizens to be represented here in Congress. It's unconstitutional and it's completely ridiculous. It's a threat to the very sovereignty of the United States of America. Democrats want to make citizenship mean nothing. A nation without borders is not a nation, especially when you allow anyone from any country to vote in our elections and be represented in our government. Now, thankfully, our courts have stopped reckless attempts to allow non-citizens to vote. But we need to ensure that Congress is representative of our citizens and our citizens alone. And that's what our nation's founders intended. And it's the only way to uphold the principles of our democracy. Allowing representation for non-citizens is also a slap in the face to every immigrant who went through the proper channels and came here legally, the right way to search for the American dream. They respect our laws. They've sworn allegiance to the United States of America, and they deserve to be represented fairly here in Washington. I'm a proud co-sponsor of the Equal Representation Act before us today because it's time that we stop rewarding states like my home state of New York and California for their destructive sanctuary policies. With the absence of a citizenship requirement for apportionment in congressional districts, we have allowed a perverse incentive to take hold where Democrat-run sanctuary states are rewarded with greater representation in the halls of Congress and greater sway in the Electoral College simply by counting millions of illegal aliens who have broken our laws and taken advantage of these states' destructive policies. It sends the wrong message to the world about the value of citizenship and our respect for our own laws and our own government. Mr. Speaker, we are effectively allowing those who are not U.S. citizens to have a significant say in the future of U.S. elections. This is a wrong that for the sake of the American people and our own sovereignty as a nation must be corrected. It's simple. Allowing non-citizens to vote and be represented in Congress dilutes the voice of the American citizen and opens the door to manipulation and exploitation of our electoral system. I strongly Gentleman support the Equal Representations Act and look forward to its consideration on the floor, and I yield back.